Last Thursday, the Cabinet of Barbados took the decision to observe November 30th as Barbados National Day, commemorating both our independence from Britain in 1966 and our transition to Parliamentary Republic in 2021. I, as Minister of Information, announced that decision to the public during a press briefing yesterday afternoon at Ilara Court. The response of Barbadians from all walks of life has been swift and vocal, with the overwhelming majority of you not in favour of the change or of its timing. This Barbados Labour Party government is one that is committed to promoting a sense of patriotism and national pride during the month of November. At some point, we must come up with a suitable way to collectively craft a meaningful and celebratory way to honour these two most significant achievements in our nation's history, the attainment of independence in 1966 and our first Prime Minister, the right excellent Errol Walton Barrow national hero, and the transition to Parliamentary Republic last year in 2021, and our first Barbadian Head of State, her Excellency, the Most Honourable Dame Sandra Mason, President of Barbados. But it is also clear that now is not the time. I am a member of a government that listens, and as we have done in the past, we have listened to the voice of the people. I now come to you again to state that as the Chairman of the Cabinet Subcommittee on National Events in November, I will take this matter to Cabinet once again, with a recommendation that this particular initiative be paused pending inclusive public discourse and consultations with the widest possible cross-section of, of the Barbadian public and with the social partnership. I will recommend that the status quo be preserved and that we celebrate November 30, 2022 as Independence Day. The decision of the Cabinet will be made public immediately following tomorrow's Cabinet meeting.